Good morning, everybody. I want to hop on here really quick to speak to those individuals who are thinking about starting a business or for those that have been in business and may have hit a roadblock, not necessarily sure which way to go and things of that nature. So I'm hoping that this short little video kind of helps provide some clarity around uh, some of those decisions that you're trying to make. So we live in a world where everyone is trying to offer you advice, um, give you their opinion, but no one is actually knocking on your door speaking to you one-on-one -on -one to understand exactly what it is that you're trying to do and better yet get your opinion um, of the matter. So when we think about business, um, we have to think about business in four different categories. There's only four buckets that you would uh, fit in. And we label those buckets ESBI. In order to you know, achieve financial freedom, generational wealth, um, I think you should be able to fit into the B and the I category. Not, that's not to say that you can't make it with the E and the S categories, just saying that in order to really achieve that generational wealth, you want to be able to fit into the B and the I category. So the E is for the employee. This is the individual who is told what time to come to work, what time to leave, when they can and can't take vacation, et cetera, et cetera. This individual is tied to performance evaluations. And if they, if they are lucky, they will actually have a good manager that will kind of help um, them to be able to grow. Uh, the S is for the self-employed. This is the person who, if they don't work, they don't eat. If they want to take a vacation, they don't get paid while on vacation. If they unfortunately, you know, get ill and have to stay at home, as long as they are home, they're not going to get paid. Um, this individual probably does not have any type of uh, benefits that comes with being self-employed. So they are literally waking up every day on a hope and a prayer that nothing ever happens uh, because they need that money to come in. They're going to work tireless, tirelessly seven days a week sometimes, 14, 15, 16 hours a day because they know they got to put food on the table. Um, then you have the B category. This is the business owner. This is the individual. If he or she wants to take a vacation, they're still going to get paid while they're on vacation. If he or she gets ill, nine times out of 10, the, the company will still make money. This is the individual who is very smart, and if they are lucky, they will actually hire the self-employed person in the employee uh, uh, bucket, if you will, because they know that that self-employee or that 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 self-employed manager mentality, if you will, uh, is going to consistently make them money. They're going to grind each and every day, sick or not. They're going to make sure that that business owner has a has a company that's that that's that's flourishing. That's actually doing really well to allow that business owner to grow that company and put that particular business owner in a position to obtain financial freedom and generational wealth. Then you actually have the I. This is the investor. This is the person who knows how to make money work. They know what to do with the money each and every time. The smart investor invests in a genius of a business owner because he know he knows he or she knows that that business owner will hire a manager that actually has self-employment tendencies because that manager will make sure that they get the most out of that employee so again you you're going to fit into the employee category the self-employed category the business owner or the investor category hope that helps have a good day thanks